What's going on everybody? So if you've been following this channel or you've been subscribed to me or you just dabble and you just watch, I always appreciate it. Definitely hit a like right now. If you've seen the first time that I played this guy, Han Solo, he's a, uh, actually a Madden Classic competitor. He actually made it to the group stage right now. I don't know how. And I'm going to tell you why. This dude is a bum. And after this game, um, you know, he actually messaged me and, and he, I, I don't know what he was doing, but I don't really read crap. But th th this dude is terrible. And I don't understand, yo, this guy, yo, if this, I, I don't know how he's there, what's going on, but the game is geared toward people that just don't know what the hell they're doing. Let's just be honest about it. I'm just very interested to see, um, you know, how Problem Right does if he's in the tournament. Um, I really hope that Volterax just beats the hell out of everyone and just swerves all over the, bro, I hope he swerves so hard that the actual console that they're playing on gets up and walks away. Like, I want him to swerve that hard, bro, because I really don't understand what is going on and why these guys, these, it's, these players have, you, you, look, I'm not gonna say that this guy is trash completely, but on like a skill gap level, he, he shouldn't be a competitive player, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying in my opinion, even when he beat me the first time that we played, it was always BS. You know what I'm saying? When I say BS, it's like he he throws the ball right in the coverage like that every play, and there's no consequence. And right there, he's trying to do some audibles or whatever, you know, to um, you know, to get his bunch play to work. Because I guess if, if you if you're a competitive player, you have to run bunch. You know what I'm saying? Like it just doesn't make any sense to me. But either way, with the bunch play, the reason that it's very successful is because if you put the guy that's supposed to be covering that the outside outside route that goes out and up, if he's in a flat, he won't play the flat. If you guys didn't know that, you know what I'm saying? So don't put him in a flat. Um, but either way, uh, right there, that's Harrison Smith, right? I know that that's the play he's going to on fourth down. So I set it up so that he has to go deep because there's nothing underneath. And the safety is supposed to cover that side, right? He just stands there and allows him to do whatever he wants. And I just don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. You know, I have to punt the ball right there because, like I said, this guy, oh, yeah, just throw it right there. Yeah, just throw it across your body, and the guy will come back and get it. That, that's the best way to do it. Um, pretty much a very, very basic play guy. He doesn't do anything spectacular. For anybody that's going to be playing him in the group stage, just understand this. He's going to run the ball, you know what I'm saying, with power O. Think it's sweet. You, if you got the D for power O, you should be good. The problem with power O, though, like, look, look at this right here. Are you serious? It, that's Tyron Matthew and Harrison Smith two guys just standing there and they're supposed to have high IQs bro those guys are wearing it's supposed to be serious business don't worry about DeAndre Hopkins he drops the ball every time it doesn't matter that's just the way it is and these are not like instant replays I'm throwing the ball to DeAndre Hopkins because people are like yo he's consistent he's this he's no he's not everybody drops the ball everybody drops the ball in this game I don't want to hear about consistency and all this other BS that people it doesn't matter. They all drop the ball. L look at this. It does, it, none of this matters, bro. And I'm trying to make it very, very clear to you guys. The only real stat that's always mattered in Madden is speed. And they've never really gone away from that. With the one exception of Madden 16 when they allowed after the patch for guys to freaking slide into you when you had them beat deep. That is the only time that speed wasn't really, you know, a factor. Madden 16 at launch was a great game. It was destroyed by the developers that patched the game. That is fact. That is like right there, right now. That's what it is. It, what, what, why is this guy dropping the ball every time? I don't even understand what's going on right now. But getting back to that, um, if you know anyone or if you're playing in the actual Madden Classic and you have to face this guy, He's gonna send a sip. Uh, it's a simple blitz, bro. Off the edge. You can either slide protect it or you could run inside zone on it. You know what I'm saying? But when you run inside zone, he's gonna pretty much be over, like right in the middle with his linebacker trying to come down. And for some reason, now like you can see right there, I slide protect it. It's not something that you always have to slide protect. And that's why I was letting it come in a lot. I don't know why. Yo, bro, that kick was horrible. Yo, bro, I kicked that shit nowhere near anyone. I don't know what I was doing. And like I said, I was missing a lot of kicks for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. I gotta really just go and practice making kicks. Because I have no effing clue why I was missing all those. But look, just, just take a look at this right here. I'm very surprised that they gave me position right there to intercept that ball. Because as you know, this is a game where even if your guy is right there, he still won't react to the ball. And he won't, the, the, the receiver still has a chance at the ball before the defender. So even if he throws the ball right into your hands, you won't pick it. 
and the receiver will still touch the ball at least once. It's a real ridiculous scenario that doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, now he catches it, but he drops on the ground. He can't just catch it and keep running for six. He has to catch it and drop on the ground because that's just the EA Sports way, bro. And you better like it. And if you don't like it, you better shut the F up because that's the only things that you're going to be able to do about it. Watch this right here. I had to doubt him because he's lurking underneath waiting for the slam. You know, he, he's a very, yo, did this game, bro, like, I'm just really looking at what's going on, and I'm, I'm trying to figure, like, and then you see how my guy just stops? He catches the ball. That's fine. Okay, I have him in a flat. Look at this. Why are my guys jumping up in the air at the snap? That takes two of my guys out of the play for the entire time. And then look. Look at that, bro. Like, what the? the yo, man, I, it, it's, I, I hope, I hope that Volt, okay, if Volterex doesn't win, I want True Boy to win. I don't know what his username is or whatever like that. But True Boy and Volterax, those are my guys. You know what I'm saying? I hope that they win. This guy is celebrating. He doesn't realize that I have been labbing the swerve. You know what I'm saying? I don't run it all the time, but I have been labbing the swerve. Bro, the swerve, though. So, look. Hurry up offense, bro. We got three, two. Bro, hike the ball right here. Three deep coverage, bro. Safety and everything. We about to swerve. you damn right. Swerve that freaking douchebag. On three guys. All right, we go in the OT. All right? So now we got to come up big because I do not want to lose to this guy again because he is terrible. This guy is terrible. I don't want to lose to him again. So now we got to buckle down. We got to play defense to the best of our ability because remember, when you have decent user and stuff like that, you're playing against your opponent and EA Sports. It's not just the opponent. So you got to beat two people every time you play the game. And that's why I made the statement earlier. I'm very interested to see how Problem Right does. Because since Madden has changed, isn't it quite odd that Problem hasn't been quite the competitor that he used to be? You can win as many ranked games and all that kind of stuff that you want. But I'm talking about competitively, you know, when it's the tournaments. He hasn't been winning much since Madden has changed. And when I say changed, you know what I'm talking about. It's being made for poodles actual dogs bro you know what i'm saying like it doesn't make any sense at all a lot of the things that are going on and primarily what they have done is taken away user control and added more d-line user action that's pretty much what has happened like in the past if you were a d-line user you got no respect now you can come out d-line user somebody and dudes like yo let me get your autograph the game has changed it has changed and it's, it's just the reality of the situation. And it, you know, listen, they, every year they can make it better. And every year they find a way to make it worse over the last three years, in my opinion. The last good Madden that I really enjoyed was 25, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So look, like I said, you guys can leave me in the comment section your favorite Madden. Um, I don't know which one was my favorite favorite, but the last one that I enjoyed was 25. And that, that's a fact, that, that it is what it is. I, I'm not gonna, you know, and, and it's 25 on the PS3. Not like pre prior gen, not next gen. Because all next gen have been trash. But we go ahead, we score right there, and that's all she wrote for Han Solo 2000, what, what, 216, or whatever his name is. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the content. I hope to see you guys at my live streams at G Myers World. Follow me at Twitter, uh, at Instagram, like me on Facebook as well. One love.